Sometimes Windows operating system and give you this error message that this app can't run on your PC when you try to run a program on your operating system. This error message can have several causes. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how to solve uh, this problem. So sometimes uh, creating a new administrator account solve this problem. So how to create a new administrator account in Windows 10? Uh, I will show you that. Just go to the setting app. Just go to the settings. Here in this account section go to family and other users here add someone else to this pc uh, create a username now you just need to change the account type you have to make it as administrator account so just click administrator and then click ok so it might solve your problem so just uh, after creating this as administrator account just switch your account and try to run uh, the application or program you want to run on that account if it solve your problem then just copy all your files data to that account sometimes it is possible that uh, you might try to run your 64-bit program uh, or software on your 32-bit of processor so just check your um, processor of operating system how can you check this and just click on my computer or this PC and then here properties so uh, when you go here here you will see that it is 64 operating uh, 64 bit operating system so you can run 32 bit and 30, 64 bit both uh, program file here if your computer is uh, 32 bit only then you can only run 32 bit or program or software what you have to do is that just go to the user account control setting here and when you go to user account control setting if it is anywhere else just uh, set this here recommended and click ok so after this you have to go to local security policies so in this what you need to do is that just go to the local policies expand it here security options here just search for user control admin here so just go to the user control admin and enable it and then search for this one user control account control allow ui access enable it also and uh, here user account control run all administrator in admin so enable it also and then ok smart screen is a built in windows 10 feature designed to protect you from phishing attacks and malware uh, sometimes it also cause the problem which uh, solves as error message that uh, this app can't run on your PC 
so it might be best that we disable it so to disable smart screen just uh, search here change smart screen settings click here here change windows smart screen settings uh, click and don't do anything turn off windows smart screen and click ok so to enable app side loading uh, you have to go to setting apps you have to go to settings and then here update and security for developer option and here and just click sideload apps and enable it sometimes it is possible that your uh, exe file of that program might corrupted or got infected by any virus so that it it is possible that uh, that program uh, throw that error because of that reason so it is best to reinstall that program faulty or corrupted registry keys may also prevent apps from running on your pc so if you are getting this app can't run on your pc uh, you can also try this of uh, this solution you can try to repair your registry how to do that i'll show you just go to your or run uh, command prompt as administrator search uh, cmd right click here and run as administrator so after uh, running as administrator type code sfc slash scan now then hit enter so uh, wait for the scanning process to complete and then restart your computer all the corrupted files will be replaced on reboot To clean your temporary files and folders, what you need, uh, what you can do is that the search disk cleanup. Uh, so, uh, using this uh, disk cleanup, uh, after opening this app, you can select the drive which you want to clean. And uh, the other option is that you just uh, Win, uh, click windows plus rt and then here type percentage tmp and percentage click ok so these are the temporary files click select all and then shift delete it so that's it for this video guys hope you like this video I hope uh, one of these solutions might help you. Please like, share, and subscribe. It works for you. If it works for you, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching this.